For several months, people have been seeing a very unusual plane flying in the sky over Plattsburgh. Turns out they were test flights for a new generation of aircraft that could, within a few short years, revolutionize aviation. Beta Technologies has built this new age aircraft that can carry up to six people or 1,500 pounds worth of cargo. It's a cross between a helicopter and a plane and powered entirely by electricity. For three years, they've been doing test flights on the former Air Force Base in Plattsburgh. And just this past week, the company announced it has the backing of some big investors, including Fidelity and Amazon's Climate Pledge Fund, providing more than $350 million in capital to continue the development of Beta's latest prototype, the Alia 250, and move ahead with building a new factory in Vermont to start up production. It comes just a few weeks after shipping giant UPS committed to buying 10 of the planes. A UPS spokesperson saying the company will use the electric planes to move express packages. Right now, UPS uses a small fleet of fixed wing aircraft, but they can only land and take off at airports. With Aaliyah's helicopter-like vertical takeoff and landing, the planes will be able to fly directly between UPS facilities. It's a huge deal for the entire industry because it's a big step into sustainable aviation by a major player in the logistics world. Founder and CEO Kyle Clark says in just a few short years, the company evolved from a concept on a drawing board to an electric aircraft flying in the air. And he says the commitment from UPS brings the technology to new heights. With UPS having a real mission for the aircraft that they can utilize on a day-to-day -day basis, get the utilization rates high enough so that the really, really important savings, financial sh savings due to the reduction of maintenance and the elimination of fuels in the aircraft closes that commercial gap. Others are on board too. United Therapeutics has signed a deal to use the electric aircraft for transporting organs and tissues. So has Blade, an air taxi company, and the U.S. Air Force. I would say that, that we've crossed some really important milestones to prove to UPS and United Therapeutics and the Air Force that the technology fundamentally works. And now it's an execution challenge, a regulatory challenge, and a manufacturing challenge. Clark says they hope to get FAA certification and have the aircraft in the sky by 2024. It'll all add up to hundreds and hundreds of aircraft per year that are taking you know, carbon emitting, fuel burning aircraft out of the skies. And by 2030, I think we're gonna be at a rate of thousands of aircraft a year. And Beta is hiring to make that happen. Right now, the company employs about 250 engineers, technicians, and pilots. Clark says the company is hoping to more than triple in size over the next few years as they ramp up production in Burlington. Chris Caputo, Beta team member, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate it. Well, thanks a lot for having me, Tom. So this has been home for you guys for a few years now. You've done a lot of your testing right here at, the, at this hangar in Plattsburgh. Absolutely, we have uh, we were originally over here in a, a hangar just a couple hundred yards to the south of us um, back in 2017, and then uh, we moved into this hangar about a little over a year ago. Tell us about Aaliyah, this prototype plane that you guys are working on. Well, uh, Aaliyah is uh, an all-electric vertical aircraft. Uh, we've got four lift rotors and, and a single pusher rotor. And uh, it, it's really designed to, you know, help revolutionize aviation and, and build a more sustainable path in the future and, and have a really meaningful impact on the environment. And we think we've got a, a great design that's going to have a, a really, you know, a, a meaningful impact moving forward. And you talk about the environment zero carbon emissions, that's a big plus? Absolutely, uh, uh, net zero uh, emissions on the aircraft. There are no liquids on the aircraft. Uh, everything is uh, entirely electric. Fully battery powered? Absolutely, we have uh, five uh, battery packs on the aircraft. Uh, we take commercial off the shelf, uh, Samsung lithium ion battery cells and we package them up in a, a very safe uh, and reliable, high energy dense uh, package. And we've been flying them nonstop for the last year. We've got about uh, 105 successful test flights. And many of those test flights right from here in Plattsburgh. This has been your 
command center for your test flight? This has been our command center for uh, for Beta Technologies flight test. Absolutely, and uh, we've been we've been uh, really you know grateful to the community of Plattsburgh and, and Northern New York for welcoming us, and uh, just an awesome facility that we have here. And we're we're anxiously awaiting coming back at the uh, closure, uh, you know, finishing the construction on the runway. Right, the runway shut down for a few months until June. When that's finished, you'll be back over here testing Leah over here. You bet, Tom. Uh, we're, we, we took Leah back over the lake um, at the end of April uh, when the runway closed at the beginning of May, and the runway is going to be closed until the end of June. Uh, at which point we'll uh, we'll bring Aaliyah back here and continue our flight testing. So lots of folks have seen you in the sky over Plattsburgh. They've seen Aaliyah in tandem with a with a helicopter flying around and looking up and wondering, what is that? And now they know. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's really exciting for us uh, as we continue to you know, expand the envelope. Um, we've just got a great infrastructure here at Plattsburgh uh, International and a, a great working relationship with everybody on the airfield. Test flights, how many test flights have you done and are you getting to the point where the test flights are lasting longer and the battery life is lasting longer? Are you developing a plane that has a greater distance capability? Yeah, we've got, um, right now we're currently flying on two battery packs. Uh, we're continuing to expand the flight envelope. Our overall goal is to create a all electric vertical takeoff and land aircraft that can achieve uh, a 250 nautical miles on a single charge and then be recharged in under an hour. Are you there yet? How, how far are you able to go now? Yeah, right now, Tom, we're, um, we've flown on three battery packs and we've gotten to about 125 nautical miles uh, on a single charge. Uh, we're confident in our design and we're very confident that uh, in the very near future we'll be making a cross-country flight uh, of about 200 nautical miles and going out to one of our charging networks uh, in upstate New York uh, doing a recharge there and then and then doing a return trip. And when you say electric vertical this is a plane that flies like a helicopter. It can take off and land vertically. That is absolutely the case. Uh, we, we are uh, designing an all-electric vertical takeoff and land aircraft. Uh, right now, we are currently in what we call the conventional takeoff and landing phase where we're using a runway uh, just to make sure that we're um, you know, exposing and uh, uh, collecting all the data on the aircraft from, you know, it, handling characteristics. Right now you're in the phase of looking for FAA certification, so you're, do, you're doing engineering now on the plane. Sure, we're, we're constantly doing R&D on the plane, and, and as we're uh, doing the R&D, we're um, along a parallel path working with our partner, the FAA, to a path to certification. When do you hope to have that certification? We're hoping to have that certification at the end of 2024. And you already have orders coming in. We heard a few weeks ago UPS has ordered 10 of these prototypes uh, and have uh, the option to buy up to 150. So that's one of your first major orders already coming in. Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, we're, we're super excited about all of our customers. Uh, we've gotten a lot of interest, one of those being UPS, as you mentioned. So they've invested in, in uh, helping uh, this technology, and we're not the only company. Uh, there are other EV toll companies that are part of Agility Prime. Um, but helping to fuel that innovation and this new technology as we try to make a more sustainable future. Are you looking primarily at cargo uh, with the deal with UPS to be able to fly cargo between two direct points and they would no longer be required to fly into airports and then worry about ground transit to get the packages from the airport to their warehouses or wherever? I think they, they believe that, there's, uh, that we've got a platform that's going to be able to meet some of their needs and point-to-point -point cargo delivery is, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, probably one of those. It could also hold six people. You have Ink to deal with Blade, which is a air taxi service. Yeah, we're we're confident in our very simple, pragmatic, um, utilitarian design, and we we believe that we've got you know multiple vertical entries in the marketplace. Whether it's with our United Therapeutics in the medical field, uh, government with the United States Air Force cargo and logistics with UPS, and then the passenger uh, 
deal with Blade. Uh, we're super excited um, about you know those customers having you know faith in us that we're going to be able to deliver um, on this new technology and revolutionize aviation and make the world a better place at the same time. How many contracts do you have now? Uh, we currently have uh, those four contracts. The hope is obviously within the next few years that will grow dramatically. Uh, that's absolutely what we hope, yes. You know, we've got some really great momentum. Uh, we're just focused on, on building the most pragmatic, safest, reliable uh, aircraft um, that we can. And just within the past few days, word coming that you folks are looking to expand your operations at the airport in Burlington build a new facility there. You have about 200 employees right now, and you're hoping to ramp up in the next year to what, another, adding another 200 or so? Well, we're, we're probably at about 240 people right now. Uh, just to put it into context, when I joined the uh, organization about two years ago, there were about 25 uh, individuals. So we're seeing incredible growth and incredible interest. You know, Kyle and Katie just have this awesome vision of, of growing this company, doing something that's you know truly revolutionary in aviation, something that's great for our climate, and you know we're really really excited about growing the company and building out some manufacturing facilities. And Kyle said just within the past week or so that the, the, the target is up to 800 employees uh, within the next few years in. Burlington, will all of the construction of these planes take part in Burlington or would you ever look here across the lake to Plattsburgh and other areas in New York and Vermont to, as part of the operation? Yeah, I, I think right now we're, we're super focused on, on you know, the, the manufacturing facility that we've got in, in going on in Burlington, but uh, I think uh, we, we view this as, you know, not going to be a, a demand issue, it's going to be a supply issue in the future. So uh, we're very confident in our product, in the technology, and, and hoping to, you know, revolutionize aviation. Kyle saying within the next few years, within two, three, four years, perhaps manufacturing 250 to 400 of these planes every single year? Yes, uh, we, we think that is definitely um, easily achievable there in, in Burlington with the, with the plans that we have for our manufacturing facility. And we think we're gonna have that type of a demand for our product. I truly believe, you know, having been involved in aviation for over 30 plus years, both on the military and civilian side, that the sky is the limit for beta technologies. And, you know, we're super focused on, on our, 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 our design right now and, and our path to certification. And, and we're very excited about the partnerships that we have currently in place. Is it exciting in a way to be able to do the test flights here, this, this new revolution in aviation, to come here to Plattsburgh Air Force Base, which has such a rich history? I do remember the old Plattsburgh Air Force Base with the B-52s and the KC-135s, FB-111s, you bet. You know, Plattsburgh's been great for us. Uh, we love working over here, we love the community, and you know, just seeing where aviation was and, and where it's going, um, it, it's really important um, for us to be part of that and, and to bring that you know, piece of new history to Plattsburgh, New York.